In downtown Sturgeon Bay, a husband and wife team have kept it hot for 20 years at the Popelka Trenchard Fine Art Gallery. And the furnace stays on continuously. It's been on since March, and it usually doesn't go off for years at a time. Trained as fine artists, Jeremy and his better half, Stephanie, continue to form works of art the old-fashioned way with a couple of new twists. I think people are attracted to something that's made like our ancestors. Gathering, heating up, cooling down, and shape-shifting glass on a nearly daily basis, the team will produce hundreds of pieces of art every year. It's about being able to master a skill to make something that you decide, decide to make in a very clear way. All too often, finding that clear vision, though, will include colors. Colors that will be melted down, fused together, and then blown into a reflection of the original vision. So everything we're doing is not specifically unique, but depending upon the colors I use, the shapes I make, the way I put those tiles together, all that makes it more about me as an artist or a designer. It's a process of delicate hands forcing the hot glass to roll on top of itself, and the need to give little spouts of air into a glass vessel Perfect. that turns something ordinary Flip. into something extraordinary. And whether the finished project is a soon-to-be family heirloom or something more functional, the goal is to have this beautiful glass shimmer in whatever likeness it can be seen the best in. They're bowls and vases. Not too many of my clients are gonna use them that way. Like, they're not gonna put flowers in them as much, but some people do, and I'm okay with that. With photographer Josh Visti catching the okay moments in Sturgeon Bay, I'm Eric Crest covering small towns for NBC 26.